Hi, I'm Matthew Rolfe from SCP Water Management. Um, we've just been given access to a video of um, a recording of a camera inside a rain block attenuation tank. Uh, you may have seen our rain block inspect crates, which um, which enable attenuation tanks and soakaways to be uh, to be accessed for inspection and maintenance purposes. And um, we've never had uh, any video footage before from inside inside the tank. And uh, so I'm going to share that with you here today. Um, just quickly to make sure, um, just to explain the difference between the standard rain block and the rain block inspect. Um, as you can see on our website here, this is the standard rain block crate, um, which, uh, which are used on, on most attenuation tanks that we supply. And then when they do need to be inspectable, this is the rain block inspect unit, which has these preformed channels that run throughout the base of the unit, um, which are um, which you can use to push a camera down. So, um, on this video here, it'll uh, you'll see um, what you can see when you do access these tanks to uh, to take a look what's inside. Um, so this will become more clear as we go on, but uh, this would this is inside the manhole chamber, which is connected to the tank. So there'll be a um, an access shaft or manhole chamber with uh, a length of pipe connecting from the chamber into the tank. That's what this uh, this length of pipe is that uh, that the camera's in now. So you can see down um, just about into the uh, where it meets with the crates. Uh, you'll see these. Um, green parts, those are the preformed channels in the bottom of the crates that the camera travels along. So the orange bit is where the pipe ends and the crates begin. Uh, so normally that's just pushed into the crates by about 300 mil um, and, and that's where the, uh, the water will be coming into the tank. Um, so as the camera just settles it will travel along the bottom of the rain block inspect units, here we go, um, and you can see what uh, what you're able to look at inside the uh, inside the attenuation tank. As you can see there's a bit of silt um, along the bottom of the units, uh, I don't know how long these crates have been in but uh, that will build up over, over time, um, it's important to have uh, filters and, and uh, sediment baskets and filter chambers prior to the tank to, uh, to to limit uh, how much how much silt comes into the uh, to the tank, but um, obviously these inspectable units mean that uh, you can check what's in there and um, and isolate the the position of any blockages and and then uh, get to them to to remove them. So you can either put the rain block inspect crates throughout the whole base layer of the tank um, or just in several rows uh, in both directions so that uh, with a camera you can see throughout the tank to, uh, to check all parts of it. Now it's rare at the moment that we would use um, the rain block crate system for rainwater harvesting tanks because this buildup of silt would be very difficult to uh, to remove completely. Um, whereas with a uh, an underground tank, it's uh, it's possible to to clean the whole thing out and um, um, regularly do that to, or as and when required. So. Um, but it, the, these crates do get used for rainwater harvesting tanks, but uh, that's when it's even more important to have filters before, as the water enters the tank, to make sure it's as clean as possible. So that's looking up into the uh, crates, into the black part, and then the, the green bits of the channels running along the base.
Mm. I'll just fast forward along here because it's much the same throughout, but um, you get the impression what uh, what's visible and um, why this why the blocks work well. Okay, so there you have it. I um, I hope that was useful. I hope it's uh, of interest. And um, if you do require any further information, please uh, contact us at SCP Water Management or take a look on the website at scpwatermanagement.co.uk. Thank you.